wonderful. Thank you to Charlie Spano and Marianne Benitez. As you can see, yes, there are conservatives in Northeast PA. Yeah. We now have the Scranton Tea Party, the Carbondale Tea Party, the Troop Tea Party, and the new NEPA Patriots. We have our new newspaper, the Wilkes-Barre Independent Gazette. Please, please make sure that you are supporting them because this is the only conservative information you're going to get in a newspaper. Let's get it in Scranton, please. Now, we all know why we're here for our Second Amendment rights. We must educate our children and grandchildren to the fact that the Second Amendment isn't so we can all go hunting. That's right. The Second Amendment is to protect ourselves from tyranny. And I'll be damned if I'm going to let these politicians lie and say that that's not what it was for and that the government will never come after us and that we're all crazy for believing so. Let's talk about Katrina, shall we? That's right. That's right. When the sheriff went out and provided the citizens with martial law and confiscated all their guns, even going into a, what was she, 80 years old, beating up an 80-year-old, coquettic, frail old woman who had a little handgun to protect her food supply. And they went in and they attacked her in her own home. You can watch the video on YouTube. It isn't a lie, and it does happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So when you hear them say that we're just crazy people thinking that, you know, the government is ever going to do anything tyrannical to us, well, I would think Second Amendment rights taking them away from us is a little bit of tyranny, don't you? Yeah. That's right. Our freedom of religion yeah. has been attacked. And they're saying that they're not coming after us or our rights? Well, they sit there and they say we have freedom of choice when we want pro-choice abortionists. But when it comes to our gun rights or when it comes to a saving a baby and keeping it, that's no longer a choice. It has to be their way or the highway. Well, I say no way. Yeah. And I say we're fighting them. Yeah. Yeah. We have had a multitude of people that stand in this audience today that stepped up to the plate and ran for office. And I am telling you, you need to get out there and get involved in your government. I ran for the United States Congress this past election. Thank you. Yeah. Coming for governor. <laughs> <laughs> now we are told that you have to be a member of the elite and you have to have a Harvard education in order to go to Congress. No, the founding fathers didn't have a Harvard uh, education. They didn't have Harvard then. It was regular citizens and that's what it needs to be today. Right. Because you know where, you, where reality starts in your home. It doesn't start in the halls of, of Congress. It starts on the streets and cities of America because we're the ones that build America. They don't. They write laws that harm America. And we need to go out there and stop them. Now let me tell you something. They will dissuade you from doing anything in office because they don't want you to get in office. I had zero dollars. Do you hear me? Zero. I got 107,000 votes. Because of all of you, because of people, because no more does money decide who's going to win elections. The people decide who's going to win elections. That's right. And now we have our local elections, which are going for mayor, school board, city council. Have you read about Scranton lately? <laughs> Get out there and run for city council. We will support you. We are the grassroots. We will go door to door. And we will make sure that we take back our cities, our states, and our federal governments because of people like you. So thank you all for everything that you do. Yeah. has just started a new uh, agency called CURE. I don't know what it stands for, something like conservative urban um, Americans. And the African community, uh, African American
African-American community is stepping up to the plate because they know what it feels like to be held down by a tyrannical force. Yeah. And they are way ahead of us on working against this gun control. I suggest we join forces with them. Yeah. Yeah. Star Parker is one of the biggest conservatives I know that can, you know, she was on uh, C-SPAN and they were showing her um, her meeting out at uh, in Washington. And I believe her statement was, let me, let me grab it, hang on. I don't know what I did with that. <laughs> I think it was something like, we have uh, the dis judicial arm, the legislative arm, and the ammunition arm, something to that effect. So um, I hope that you can look her up and help because um, you know we all need to band together here and work together, whether we be white, black, orange, Mexican, yellow, green, I don't care what your color is. Because that's not what conservatives look at. Conservatives look at principles, and they look at right. what's in the heart. That's right. Yeah. And, and we get our rights from God. Yeah. That's right. And when this president says, oh, these Republicans want you to be all alone out there, all on your own. No. We look up to the Lord for our guidance and for our strength and for our hope. We don't need to look to President Obama. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that um, I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your support that you've given to not only the candidates that ran, but groups such as uh, Independent Gazette and groups such as NEPA Patriots and our group, the Tea Party, the Scranton Tea Party, and NEPA Tea Party, and NEPA Patriots, okay. and Troop T and Carbondale. Yeah. This is growing. Don't let the media fool you. It is not going away. We have expanded. We have gone into the local areas, and we have formed different groups, and we are running them for office, and we will make sure that we take this country back come hell or high water. Thank you all so yeah. much. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you.